Okay, good morning. Um, one of the things I want to do today is document the rebirth of the uh, Model 221 ICO VTVM. Uh, this uh, VTVM was given to me by a friend and needed some reconditioning. And I'm not going to go into a lot of detail at this time, but when I started working on it to recondition it, I found that the uh, power transformer, the secondary on the power transformer, uh, was open. And trying to, trying to find the proper uh, transformer led into a little bit of problems because there were no voltages rated on any of the schematics uh, that I found for the unit. Uh, obviously, the documentation is all available online. But one of the interesting things I found while looking for a replacement transformer was an article uh, called The Rebirth of the ICO-221. And this, this was a, uh, from 73 Magazine back in 1986, and February of 1986. And it was written by Dick Drerer, W5VTJ, I believe. And what it did was it, it talked about converting the VTVM from tubes to an IC. And, and I'm not going to go into, you know, the actual uh, work that I did, but the finished product, uh, it was very interesting. Um, the finished product, which I'll try to, I took the, the liberty of taking the screws out prior to making this video. I'm not a videographer. I don't do this a lot. And... You can see that the, there's no more tubes in it. There's no power cord coming into it. And this was just a, a modification. It was a small board that I made up. Uh, he said in the article that you could um, leave the tube sockets in place and use the tube sockets um, to wire to. But I, I didn't feel like doing that. I wanted it to look a little bit cleaner. Oops. Excuse me for the. I wanted it to look a little bit cleaner, so I've made up some boards, did the rewiring, and works on two 9 volt batteries uh, with the IC. And then obviously, you've got the, the one, uh, one and a half volt D battery that's in there for the ohms range. Uh, the little board that I built up, you can see the red jumper wire going across, and that's because I used. A, the, the circuit calls for a an LM310 an LM310H and I did not have an LM310H the 310H internally has pins 2 and 6 the output uh, connected together the 312 that I used um, does not so I put a jumper across the two and I just wanted to document that this circuit does work, works very well. As you can see, I didn't change any of the original resistors that were in here. They're all original to the uh, build. Obviously, the one, the one that you see over here is part of the new board that I put in. But all the resistors stayed the same. I checked them, and they were within their... 10% tolerance or 5% tolerance uh, uh, in the circuit. So to me, there was no reason to change them at this point. Um, I do have the circuit working. I'm not going to get into that. I just wanted to document that at this point that this is a working uh, potential for anyone that has a 221 and is not sure what to do with it with a blown transformer. Uh, it took a little while to, to do, but uh, again, it, it definitely works, and I'm happy with the result. Uh, as you can see, I've got a, an ICO 232 that I built back in 1971 when I was in uh, trade school, State County Technical and Vocational High School. I built that one, and its accuracy is as accurate right now as this one is. And I had found on the meter, uh, back below the bezel when I opened it up, that this was built back in 1953. So 
an old meter with a new lease on life, and I'm sure I'm going to be using it here in the shop. Uh, again, it's now made it portable. It does have a 25 meg ohm input impedance on it, which is which is nice, and it is portable. The original leather strap that was on it was rotted and destroyed, so I've now put a, a metal metal handle on it, make it easier to carry. And I've got a, a new meter, actually an old meter with a new lease on life. I hope this helps anybody who's got one and not sure what to do with it. Take care, guys.